Hey everybody, I just received a board with a bunch of MEMS digital microphones on them. Uh, this is actually a whole panel of a hundred different microphone tabs. Um, and I want to test each one to see, well, does it work and is it sealed? So, um, I had to build myself a little fixture to make that easy. So the way I did that <clears throat> is with, um, with some spare little tabs. So first I um, got, a, got a couple um, from, from an unstuffed board. Um, so they're unused. And what I want to do is use two of those and some pogo pins. This is a pogo pin that you can solder on and it's got a nice spring action, makes good contact with your, with your board. So I just take two of these and drill them out <clears throat> so the pogo pin will fit into the uh, into the contact points and then uh, solder it up so to drill it I used this thing called a pin vise which I just learned about they're really handy um, you can use them by hand like this if you want to drill oh, that one's already drilled out uh, here's another one you can drill and that doesn't take too long or you can just grab your grab it and grab your drill put it into the chuck and then it's much easier Let's see if I can do that through the video camera all right there you go and I don't recommend drilling right over your PCB like I did Anyway, so you do that um, for all your contact points, and then you can solder up a little a little fixture um, with spring, springy pins, wires. Um, there you go, and then these pins can easily just go right onto. Um, on, they, oops, they fit right perfectly on. You have to take some care to get them straight. You see, I didn't get them perfectly straight, but they're good enough. Um, one thing to note is that they're not all the same height. And I did that on purpose so that um, these center two are power and ground. I want them to hit first and then data and clock. Um, I didn't quite get this one low enough, but yeah, it's okay. Um, so yeah, as it, as it comes down, it hits power and ground, then the other pins. And uh, that should help with, you know, maybe helping prevent latch up, um, maybe. Anyway, it's not a bad idea. Um, so what you can do is I can just switch over to the, uh, so uh, let me describe my setup of how I'm just doing a really quick and dirty non-formal test. And um, basically this goes into our sound card that we made here. Um, and if I can get this to come up, um, here's our sound card. I'm going to open it up. And this has got 32 channels of digital input. You can see, oh, and 32 channels of analog input. Um, you can choose whether you want them digital or analog. So that's pretty handy. Um, we use that for all our microphone array testing and prototyping purposes. Uh, that's a USB sound card. It just goes right into the computer. And I'm using Jack, Jack D to um, route that, the sound from uh, these microphones into the computer and back into my ears so I can just listen to what's happening. And we can just switch to that audio. I'll, I'll switch back and forth to that audio as I'm uh, just going through this test. So um, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, this microphone works. So rather than just listening to me talk, I'll just throw on some music, and so we can just zip through a few of these.
All right, so there we go. We just went through and tested 10 microphones real quick. Um, this definitely is not a full test. Um, we'd want to do a free, full frequency response to, to really do it right. Um, but it gives a good quick indication of um, whether they work. So um, let's see, the next thing to test is whether the microphones are sealed. And one way to do that, and by sealed I mean um, right, well, let's get a blank one. Let's see. Okay, so you can see the microphone, the microphone goes right here. I grab a little pointy, pointy thing. Okay, so focus. Okay. Um, you know, th this is the microphone footprint here. And there are four, four pins plus this circular ring here. That circular ring is actually the ground pad. And that has to be completely covered in solder um, for it to acoustically seal. Even a little leak will let sound uh, go through there, and, um, and that's bad. The sound, you do not want the sound from the inside of your product. Just remember, this is, a, this is a bottom ported MEMS mic. So this, is, this side is the inside of your product. This side goes to the outside. So you do not want any leaks from the inside of your product, from, from the component side of the board because that will, um, that will be bad. It will, you'll, you'll hear the, um, you know, any fans or capacitor buzzing or anything like that way louder than you should. Um, so we want to test for it's being sealed. And the way I do that, grab a piece of tape. It's actually amazingly straightforward. You can really actually seal microphones with tape. If you're taping against a flat surface, like we are on the back of this PCB, um, and temporarily. I would not, um, repeat, not do this in, in any kind of production. Um, but anyway, let's just start the music again and then we'll run through a couple more tests and see if it's sealed. Okay. There's, there's a... Uh, Oops, that's one that's open, and we'll move to one that's closed now. Yep, so... Yeah, so obviously those were really well sealed, so no problems there. Um, and you can see we found um, a couple bad ones. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, interestingly, these guys in a row here were all caused by an errant um, V score. You can see that score line's a little thicker than the rest. This one's obviously misplaced. That one's misplaced. That one looks perfect. I have no idea what why that one's bad, but yeah, we'll see. Um, anyway, um, there you have it. That's how to build a jig and run through initial testing of a uh, panel of microphones. All right.